I don't know why you're on Mars. Maybe you're there because of the magnificent science that can be done there. The, the gates of the wonder world are opening in our time. Or maybe we're on Mars because we have to be, because there is a deep nomadic impulse built into us. I wasn't actually interested before in going to, to space, going to, to Mars or something like that. I was more into design and mechanics than the, the big idea of helping humanity survive in the future. Yeah? But it caught me. It actually caught me. We come, after all, from hunter-gatherers and for 99.9% .9 of our tenure on Earth, we've been wanderers and uh, the next place to wander to is Mars. When I was in high school, I had two telescopes. I thought I wanted to study astronomy, but then I was also trying to learn what, it, what it's really about. I remember I saw a robot, rover, and then I decided I'm going to study engineering. Two years after that, two years after having that dream, I joined the robotic team uh, on my university and we started to work together, uh, creating a Scorpio rover. In case of the rover challenges, the thing is that the people participating in these challenges are already people involved in robotics, already like hobbyists, building things uh, on their own, but they want this this one thing to focus on. So you can imagine like a team of eight, nine people who finally built something meaningful, actually for the world. What you're seeing is the power of an idea. Nothing can stop an idea whose time has come. And this idea of exploring Mars has brought people from all over the world. What it does is it brings a lot of uh, young people with fresh ideas um, about how we can solve problems and that's how you grow innovation uh, and that's exactly what the space industry needs. My job is to prototype things and honestly a Scorpio project was the first project when I really had to like think about a lot of things and design them and then try and then of course fail and try again. The important thing is that you really need to know that it's okay to fail if you want to have this kind of job and I think I would never be prepared for that if I was not part of a student competition like this. This was a bridge for them and I was really happy to hear about this, that as a result of their work building rovers and competing them in the US and in Poland, they were in the space program now. When you're passionate about space, you can either be a scientist or you can be an engineer. And for me, that was a very hard choice. At the end, I chose to be an engineer and today I'm very happy about that. But since then, since that one choice, I was very focused uh, on my goal. And my goal was to work one day for the space industry preferably in a big agency like today. My future is all about Turtle now. I know that uh, if we survive as a company and if we, if we survive as a team, we'll be one of the first uh, companies that really were devoted to allowing people to involve robotics in their own lives. Thanks to this event, we are bringing people to the industry. After this event, they start to work in the space industry. They actually realize their dreams. And thanks to ERC, some of the dreams come true. Uh, many people dream about meeting astronauts, meeting interesting people. Some of them are dreaming about going to the space sector. And some of them also want to start their own career, like starting a, a own company and the ERC is all about this. I believe that these type of initiatives are important to pass the message to anybody, to normal people, that space is not far. In fact, it's all around us, it's approachable. Each of us can contribute. I don't know why you're on Mars, but whatever the reason you're on Mars is, I'm glad you're there, and I wish I was with you.